Hi there YouTubers and 3D Studio Max lovers! In the last episode we made this beautiful render which by the way was uh, got a lot of likes from you guys so thank you so very very much. Uh, yeah we made this beautiful render and now I would like to I was thinking to start making the interior and by thinking about how to make the interiors what kind of furniture should I use and so on I was like okay what am I going to use for the exterior and I said okay for exterior I can just use this 3d file that I already made and uh, it's gonna be uh, much easier for me but because there is a huge but this file is very huge if I go here you can see how big the file is how small is the house actually and here on the left side uh, by hitting 7 you can see the number of polygons so this has 40 million polygons which is quite a lot for a 3d studio max file so 3d studio max can crash in any time so in that moment i realized that i need to find a different way to make this file and that way is going to be to create an hdri from this space or a couple of them that we can use on our interior project so what's gonna happen is that uh, we can create an hdri with this kind of image with different environments and we can use them for our interior also you can have different types of, of lighting as you can see here uh, you can have uh, yeah all kind of things that can help your image to look better so yeah if you know for sure that your file is gonna stay as it is the exterior i mean you can just create an hdri from out of it and you can use that for your interior so if you guys are ready let's jump in so what well, the first thing that i'm going to do i'm just gonna hide my my house because we don't really need it i just need to remember where our camera is i'm just gonna add the camera in here or actually i can use the same camera that we used before and i can add that in here and even rotate this uh, what i need to be sure is that the target and the camera they are in the same height this is quite easy to do i'm just gonna copy this here and add it in here now they are more or less the same as you can uh, probably see uh, and another thing that we need to check is the height of our camera which i don't have in here this one i'm just gonna group these two together uh it's 151 plus 49 so it's almost 90 so i will just add 100 in here so it's gonna be almost 150 i'm gonna unhide all and then uh, another thing that I would like to do is to cover this gap here and to add some grass in here. So I'm going to isolate only this, go back to my spline land and uh, delete this from which is this spline here. I'm just going to delete it from my inset, insert and I'm going to generate the surface all over again. Okay, and now I have also my grass in there and everything else. And uh, yeah, what I'm going to do next is to go to my camera settings i'm gonna ungroup this and select the camera all over again and here in the camera settings we need to go to projection and vr and here right now we have the perspective which is this one and we need to move from perspective to spherical 360. so what does it mean it means that in this moment our render is gonna be a 360 image like the like this one so yeah probably you can't see that here but uh, this tree the green one and the ones underneath they are actually continuing on this side so this image is an image that has the proportion of two by one so this means that this line here is two times here on the width so the height is two times two times the width and uh, to do that we need to go to our parameters to here to the output size we're gonna use the image aspect ratio 2 and now we have an aspect ratio of the height being two times the width being two times the height so to have a good um, quality of the render uh, we need to go at least 8k so this means 8000 this is going this, this render is going to take a long a very very long time because it's very very big and uh, yeah i'll just make it 6k for now and i will apply a noise limit of 5 it should be enough for this and then uh, here to have different uh, images uh, like in the render that i showed you here we're going to use some uh, HDRIs from uh, 
from Polyheaven. So yeah, you can see here the name of each HDRI that I'm going to use. So as you can see, some of them are with the uh, sunlight, some of them are with the uh, clouds, sunset, also sunset. Just save all of this in 8K as an HDRI and then just go here to multiple maps in light mix click in here batch load bitmaps and load all of this in here set up the light mix to have it for later in this way we can uh, use the light mix to uh, turn off these lights that we have here or keep them when we have a dark scenario and also another thing that i would like to do is to take out the global volume material and also take out the direct visibility reflection and so on and then here uh, in the tone mapping i'm just going to use a simple exposure of uh, zero i will take the contrast out i will take the loot out the curves i'm just going to reset everything uh, the bloom and glare can go out we don't really need it sharpening can stay i'm gonna save everything as a cxr and let's hit render okay and as you can see uh it's rendering the forest only on this area and this is happening uh, because i forgot something so i will just stop this for now okay and the thing that it's not working well is the fact that the camera has limit to visibility so i'm gonna take this out i'm gonna save again and another thing that i would like to do is to uh, change the width film of my camera and hit render okay so our render is uh, done as you can see it it's looking very nice uh, the only thing is that we have here all the environments that we load uh, earlier and also the lights from the pathway as you can see so first of all what i'm going to do i'm going to stop all these lights and also all these environments because they all illuminate in the same time and then let's have a look at the first one go to the post i'm just going to leave the simple exposure as it is and uh, So yeah, I think our correct image is uh, I think uh, this could work. I'll just save this. Page the right. Save. Okay. And now let's go to the next one. This one uh, I would like to have 1.5 maybe. This is looking good. Here I'll just add all of my lights. So let me show you also in Photoshop. This is one of them, uh, as you can see the HDRI is on 32 bits which is important otherwise it's not gonna work and here we can apply an exposure and we can see how good it is and because we still have the sun here means that the quality is good and it's actually the sun is the one that it's actually illuminating our scene as you can see it doesn't get bright everywhere now let's uh, check them out i'm just going to create a plane in here and i'm going to apply a corona shadow catcher to this plane and uh, i'll load in here my light mix and i'll just uh, create a sphere in here apply a corona physical material metal very metally one let's check them out as you can probably see the problem is the so yeah these are the HDRIs as you can probably see that 
we just made. And they are uh, working very well. Uh, for those who are following me on my Patreon, they can download the files from there. Okay, so I loaded all my uh, environment HDRIs into my scene. Uh, the interior scene that I, we made uh, last time, the exterior, but now I'm inside the interior. And I loaded outside all of my HDRIs, as you can probably see. And this is how they are actually looking, one by one because we render a couple of them and as you can see they are looking very very well I'm uh, very happy with the result even though it's everything 3D and the quality is not that amazing as I said it's only 6k but you can actually use them you can make them less power or more okay so this was the episode of today i hope you guys uh, enjoy it for those who are following me on my patreon they can download these files these files from there and um next time we're gonna 3d model all this interior don't forget to like this if you find it useful and see you in the next one bye